time, folks. Men who are addicted to ping pong and the women who love them. <laughs> Carrie, you've been married for 27 years to a man addicted to ping pong. Do you love him? I love him, Dawn. I used to do his handles with insulating tape. Right, right. And did he ever say he loved you? No, only ping pong, Dawn. What do we think about that? <laughs> sir, sir. <laughs> Uh, I think Carrie should look for a nurturing and caring relationship somewhere else. Fair enough, yeah. Life isn't a rehearsal. Yeah. We all deserve a loving and, as I say, caring partner. I think she should stick with him. Yes, yes because you right. did stick with your husband, didn't you, Dot? I did. I'm still with him now. Even though he's trying to poison you? He's still trying. He tried this morning with some custard. I believe marriage is for life. Oh. Well, okay. Yes, I do. <laughs> It, people come on life even though in your case the life could mean termination at any point even though in that case oh whatever you said yes I do I, I'm sorry yes I'm yes, sorry I, but this just makes a laughing stock of marriage if he loved her he wouldn't try to poison her he's very nice apart from the poisoning well I think it's way out of order just sit down. so now your marriage lasted three minutes is that right that's correct, Dawn. That's uh, not very long, is it, my love? No. Yeah. But for two of those three minutes, we were very happy. Until he burped. I don't use the word, but yes. Well, we are talking about a mouth burp. I mean, we're not going below the waist here, are we? <laughs> hey, 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 get a grip, audience. This sort of stuff goes on. We're human, for God's oh. sake. We're men. We have bodies. So you think men should be allowed to let rip anywhere, no holds barred? Oh, come on. Not anywhere. <laughs> Obviously, there's a time and a place. Yeah. Yes, and there's a season for everything. Turn, turn, turn. Oh. Yes. Obviously, I'm not going to go to the Royal Garden Party, bend over and set fire to one. Harry? Well, I think there's certainly something to be said on both sides. Just say, Dawn, love makes the world go round. Yeah. Well, well, suppose you're not just addicted to ping pong. Suppose you think that your penis is telling you to order large portions of coleslaw from Kentucky Fried Chicken. What is that like? Bill. <laughs> well, it's, 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 it's quite difficult, Dawn. I mean, mm. now that my wife or myself eat coleslaw, mm. it's just piling up. Oh. And you live next door. Is it tricky? Well, we've helped out with the odd tub, but uh, we're not great coleslaw fans either. Mm. We're very much on tenterhooks with this penis situation. Mm. <laughs> New tack group. Does Duncan Preston like coleslaw? Roger Conway. Oh, you don't need. You don't need that song. No, I believe that Duncan is very much uh, a bacon and eggs man. Mm. Right. The Yorkshire pudding, beef. You've had how many operations to look exactly like your hero? I notice you've dressed just like him today. <laughs> I've had 17. Ooh, 17. I've got to go back on Thursday. Oh. The nostrils, they aren't quite right. No, they're not. Well, yeah. this is a typical oh. mockery of modern life. Men died bringing us programmes like Emergency Ward 10. get your chance, puppet. Uh, can I just say, Dawn, yes. if, if men are going to dress as women on primetime television, then there's something very wrong with the programme planners, in my view. Yeah. 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 Look, people should be castrated over this. I am. I'm very castrated. Phew. That was quite an attack. Mm. Any comeback? I just wondered when men are going to be used in a major advertising campaign for a food product such as a cooking sauce or a pie filling. I mean, when? No, not. They're not. Never. 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 I That's think when. they have. I mean, I know in my own commercials as a husband and their sons. I think you can have a man. Yeah, but you wouldn't want Christopher Timothy crumbling up a stock cube into your gravy boat, would you? I wouldn't. <laughs> can I just say, Dawn? If love's on the table, who needs gravy? Oh. <laughs> OK. Well, you're just annoying me now. OK, time to go, peasants. As that old fiancé of mine, Paul McCartney, used to say, love is all you need. We all live in a yellow submarine. Ciao. <laughs>